Aloha Guardians! I have uh, got an update for you on the hip sack by Flow Toys. I went ahead and modified it with a few places, a few secure places to put your uh, cover tech clip for your lightsaber. Um, really, really easy. I used some webbing that I had lying around, uh, just a belt, you know, and um, I uh, doubled them up and attached them with a uh, thread and needle. It took I mean, it took about an hour and a half to do both. Um, definitely took a while. It would have been easier with a uh, with a sewing machine, but I don't have one of those. So, without further ado, here is my modified hip belt. On the left hip here, this bottom one is doubled up, and I um, stitched the edge there. And then I also stitched the uh, lower section to the upper section so that the clip wouldn't get caught. And I tried doing the thicker lower section in hopes that it would catch the little clip there. Um, it works alright. It's not as secure as I would have hoped probably, but I'm thinking I might be able to wrap some um, string around the bottom of this whenever I do go to con if I really want to make sure it's a secure fit but yeah really pretty happy with it and I think it looks pretty good without also so I don't have to have the cover tech on it all the time this side I use gold just because I was feeling um, I was feeling flashy and uh, went with an angle because there wasn't a whole lot of space here um, and so the cover tech sits at an angle which is kind of nice for drawing I think because you're you're coming up in an, at a diagonal usually with the hand, <clears throat> and uh, that is three three layers thick. Um, the first two are stitched together. It probably doesn't matter. I was I spent a lot of time thinking about you know what's going to make the most secure hold and most secure fit, um, and the truth is. A few layers is probably fine. So that's that, and I'm also going to be using this as a um, strap point for a <clears throat> like a hip belt lower leg connection, uh, so that I can carry my saber a little bit lower on my thigh. Uh, we'll give that a try. Um, but so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, if you don't look too close, <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. If you get really close, you can tell like. You know, this guy's not the best uh, seamster, but not bad. I'll uh, throw it on and give you a look at it in action. Okay, so I've got a quick demonstration for the hip belt with the uh, saber clip upgrades. Uh, right now I've got my cover tag here on the right hip, just pointing at an angle. And um, like I was saying, you get to lower your, your um, grab point by a couple inches. So that's kind of nice. Um, I think it makes it a little bit more accessible. Hangs really nice. Um, and I also like having that, because whenever you're clipping to the top here, it, it tends to slide. And so I'm not super certain where that clip's gonna be whenever I go to holster it. And so this is like, this is the spot. Now I can start practicing and knowing like, that's where it's gonna be. So that's really nice. Um, go on to the left hip. This one's more of a rear view, kind of uh, hides the saber whenever you're standing from the front. So that's pretty sweet. I'm really, really uh, happy with it. Um, if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to be hopefully posting a blog soon about uh, with just a few steps for how I did it for. All the people that are not super comfortable with a needle and thread, you know, like, it really wasn't that tough. You can do it too. Um, I'm also going to be posting some blogs about uh, holstering and drawing your saber. Because a lot of the time spent with your lightsaber, if you're going to conventions, or if you're really cool and wearing your saber around in public, is going to be spent without a blade. And um, so you really want to get comfortable with holding that, that hilt like you mean it. And, um, and knowing knowing kind of where your hand grip is going to be whenever you grab it and being aware of that kill key especially if you're using a saber with sound and uh, there's that chance of igniting it. 
So check us out at heroesinpublic.com. See you soon.